Doug here in the Soundpier Studios live room, and today I'm here with Mike Dimming of Charter Oak Acoustics, and we've done some A-Bing between the Charter Oak 538 and the 538B. So when you buy a Tardrock 538 series microphone, either the, the B or the standard 538, uh, they're, they're pretty much identical in what you get. So what all comes in the, the packaging that is the 538? Both microphones uh, are identical. You know, they both come in a locking flight case with the power supply, the shock mount. Uh, you get a, a Gotham cable with Neutrik hardware, um, you know, power cord, all the typical accessories that you would need. None of those. Uh, you know, you're not charged extra for any of those. Uh, you also are given a lifetime warranty for parts and service. If you're the original owner, you can uh, count on us to take care of the microphone for its entire life. What would you say, just as kind of sonically, what, what to be expected, the, the standard 538 versus the 538B? Well, the 538B, the presence peak, the center of it is, is situated a bit higher, uh, you know, than, than it is in the, in the 538A. Uh, the 538B can sometimes sound even darker than the A on some instruments. It depends on the instrument and the voice. Uh, it re really uh, is fully dependent on what you put the microphone in front of. Uh, the 538A has very focused mid-range. It's a very upfront and in-your-face sounding microphone. You know, in this instance, the 538B sounded by far the best to me, especially on the alto saxophone. Um, you know, the, the saxophonist had a, a really beautiful old Selmer with a very nice, rich, warm tone, and the B was just very flattering uh, to the instrument. Whereas the, you know, the, the 538A had, uh, I, in my, for my taste, a little bit too aggressive of a sound uh, for the instrument. Thank you. 